Hey everyone, today I have downloaded a virtual image from Vulnerable Hub website, which is Below. Below is a vulnerable machine run on Ubuntu. We need to exploit and gain root access to the machine pay, uh, from our attacking machine, which is Kelly Rowing. So basically, we will like scan after us after scanning the entire network. We ended up with the IP address of uh, which is in uh, okay. The IP address of the vulnerable machine is 192.168.119.134. But we will try to see what are services that are currently running on the machine. Okay, so enable all detection and. Okay, so the machine is running on open boards, which are 22 for SSH and 84 HTTP. Basically, and typically, we got the version of the HTTP server and we got the version of the SSH ser server. So I, I like navigated through the explode database and I found like vulnerable versions uh, I found like those versions are vulnerable to some uh, exploits that can be taken advantage but first we need to gain root access to the machine and then escalating privilege using any available vulnerability for those kinds of versions first we have the SSH second we have HTTP navigating to the website we will, be, we will be presented with this web page. So after trying a couple of attempts for exploiting the SQL as the website tells, I ended up with nothing. So I've tried to use Dear Buster to see what are the possible directories that can be traversed and discovered. So using Dear Buster for this, Our word list will be answer. Let's try with big. Okay, I'm gonna fire up a vulnerability scanner called Nikto to see what this vulnerability scanner can find for us. Oh, I missed something? Okay, I missed the hosts. So here I got PHP my admin directory on the server. Let's try to go to this directory. It may it may ask us for username and password, and it does. So we'll go back because we don't have any such kind of username and password right now. Let me close purpose read. I think I'm not, I'm gonna never need this tool right now. All right. And removing up the proxy server. Okay. 
Okay. So what we got here, basically all the directories that were discovered by the buster are all PHP my related. So I can't access those directories unless I have username and password. So I'm going to close this and see here what we got. Okay, it's like scanning. Does it get stuck? I mean. Is it that hard? <laughs> to scan upside. I don't like automated tools. I like to scan myself. But if we click on view source, we can't find anything related. We can't find any lead for this. I mean, nothing in here. Okay, let me close it. Running again. Okay. So here we got images, which has been found by Gearbuster. So we're going to skip this. We got in.php, which is, I think, something PHP configuration related. And we got uh, test.php. So let's go to test.php to see what this file is about. Okay, apparently the file needs some sort of parameter in the name of file, so it so it can like process this parameter and display the content of the file that we are trying to view. So if we pass some sort of parameter to test.php using curl, um, expose and we will need file for this and the file would be I'm sorry I hate Turkish keyboards okay let's try to view the main page using test.php and see where this gets us okay Nothing here. I think I forgot to specify the parameter, which is test.php. So, here we got c.php and head.php file included in test.php when we, when we were trying to view the content of the index of PHP file. And it seems that those files containing some sort of passwords and usernames for something like MySQL or something. Let's try to see the content of c.php file with the same query. Um, 
instead of index, which is, we will try to see. Okay, let me copy this command. I'm going to need it. Okay, I think I copied the thing wrong. Okay, and execute. Wow, this is like MySQL Connect. This is the username and password, I think, for the database, which is my PHP, my admin. Let's try. Okay, let's copy first. Let me put this here. Okay. Go. So we are in the database, PHP admin. Let's try to see the content of the database. Okay, so we have three tables authorized and we have one username and password let's try to copy them and go to the main page oh, oh. okay pasting this here and so also we have pond the administrative panel and the PHP my the PHP my admin but those are like things we can't get advantage we can't I mean take advantage of because we need root access basically I try to upload some sort of uh, malware in here, but seems like there is some problem in establishing connections out of this machine. So I've tried to see the um, the configuration file for PHP using curl. Let me copy it from here. So instead of this path, we will use the path used for viewing the configuration file of the PHP uh, my admin. And here we got the password for username root I think if we use them for the SSH and we are in root at initial so yeah, we have pawned the machine. Thank you for watching.